What's up everybody, this is Scratch and I'm gonna answer your questions. What is an Xbox MVP? I've gotten this question a ton of times since I put out the other videos with the Xbox Ambassadors, which by the way, if you haven't seen those and you wanna check them out, they're linked down below or I'll have them linked um, at the end of this video in the cards so you can check those out there if you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you do know what I'm talking about, you saw the other badge from the badge video that I have and that's the Xbox MVP badge. So that's what we're here to talk about today. First, before we get started, though, I want to give a shout out to my friend El Capitans. I'm wearing a shirt today, so if you want, uh, if you want a shirt this cool, you can check that out in the link down below. So the Xbox MVP award is an award that's important to note, but we'll get into that in just a second. But it's given to community members who go above and beyond the standard in their area of expertise or within their communities or whatever the case may be. So let's break that down a little bit. What does MVP stand for? Well, it stands for Most Valuable Professional, and that is evidenced by the diverse, completely diverse group of people that we have who have been given this award. We have a myriad of people all over the world with different um, social and cultural backgrounds, different professions. We have uh, doctors in clinical psychology. We have college professors, content creators, lawyers, HR consultants, technical developers, game developers, writers, moderators, ambassadors, community safety people, you name it, like there's, the, it's every there's all kinds so that kind of plays a critical role in the feedback component of the award so each year an MVP uh, who is awarded an MVP award for doing these different things within their communities whatever that may be part of the award is to go out to Redmond each year you we get to hang out with the product teams we get different presentations we get to give our feedback and get to see and do things uh, with the team and as far as the feedback component is concerned um, we definitely bring a lot of different perspectives uh, to, to the table to give our feedback with as about a, a diverse feedback you could probably get um, all in one room. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It um, had a lot of great opportunities from doing that myself, but, but that's part of it. And that's what makes it uh, such an important program to Microsoft uh, to give these awards out. Okay, so let's talk about the differences between the Xbox MVPs and an Xbox Ambassador because that's a question that seems to come up a lot and there are a ton of similarities, um, but this is the probably the main difference. The Xbox Ambassador program is a program that you sign up for. So you can just, anybody can go, as I said in the other video, can go and can sign up and can become an ambassador and then you are just able to use all of the tools available to you to do good things within your community, reduce toxicity, be inclusive, and all of that stuff that Microsoft is kind of pushing now, but fun fact, the Xbox Ambassadors actually started uh, by Trixie360 way back in like 2006 uh, for just this reason. The Ambassadors were given a badge on the forums and it was a way, they were all hand-picked and it was a way to choose who wasn't toxic in the forums so when new people came to the forums and they saw an ambassador with that logo then they would know that this is a person that when they type I should pay attention to it or I can approach them that's a whole other video about where it went from there and how we're kind of coming full circle we're back to where we we started I'm super excited about by the way but that's that's what that is now MVPs are obviously going to be doing all of that stuff but basically they're just people who got an award uh, for doing things like that now does that mean that every single MVP has to be an ambassador or vice versa no because it helps obviously I mean you you should probably want to be in the ambassador program it's a great program and everybody should sign up for it and you can you can do that down below but there are people who get awarded the Xbox MVP program who haven't done anything with the ambassadors or used uh, utilized uh, the resources available there so big myth right there but but they, even though they kind of line up, two, two separate things. One's a program, the other one is an award program. Okay, so how do you become an Xbox MVP? Well, the first thing you got to do is get nominated. So how do you get nominated? Well, uh, that's actually the second thing. The first thing you got to do is do something worthy of a nomination and then have someone nominate, have someone, well, you don't have them do it, but somebody nominates you because they notice what you're doing. So we'll get into that in just a second, but basically you get nominated. So the nomination form is on the website, xbox or um, mvp.xbox.com. And you can go there and it says nominate an MVP. And then you'll see this uh, section where you can fill out all of your information. So uh, it would be, you know, you. And then you, there's a little drop down. It says whether or not you're a Microsoft employee 
or maybe you're an Xbox MVP, or then I think there's like other or something. If you're um, if you're just a member of this person's community, or you just see someone, maybe you don't even know them. I don't know. That could happen. That'd be cool. Um, but maybe you just see someone that you think is deserving, and so you just put other down there. It doesn't matter really. I think it's just informational more than anything. And then right below that is where you fill out all of the person's information that you are nominating. Um, tell about what they do, link to their socials, all of that sort of stuff. And then you put it in and it goes into the bin of consideration. Uh, I like that. The, the bin of consideration. So once you're in the bin of consideration, then when they're looking for um, MVPs and they go through, they dip their hand into the bin of cons in consideration and the bin of inconsider the bin of consideration and they look through them uh of what they have and then they award people um you know as they see fit based on the things that they're looking for so the next question is well what is it that they're looking for well there's no list right so there isn't any one list of things that they look for I mean, there's a list of things they look for, like, you know, toxicity, how are you online, you know, a whole ton of, you know, constant enforcement actions, um, you know, all of that stuff is stuff that they that they would look for. So, like, stay out of trouble, be nice, be nice to people, pretty much everything you learned in kindergarten, you should be doing. The rest of it, though, the stuff that's like the above and beyond part... That stuff isn't really listed out, so it's kind of tough to say exactly what that is. The The differences are that all the different people get it for different reasons, and so there really isn't just any one sort of, like, thing that you would list to do. So you just, you kind of know, you know, like when you're going to go nominate somebody, you just kind of know this person probably should be it. And I know when I go to fill out their nomination form, I have a bunch of stuff I'm going to list um, and show and they'll and they'll see it so that's pretty much the gist of it the xbox mvp award is basically an award that you get on your way to other things so you know just like a just like a, a photographer doesn't go and take a whole bunch of pictures in a war-torn country to get a pulitzer prize but rather to um, spread a message and bring about change the same way mvps don't go and you know start blogs and podcasts and all this other stuff to to try to build up a resume to get an MVP award your best bet is to just do something bigger than yourself and just go for it chase your dreams and focus on something way bigger way far on in the distance and the Xbox MVP award can come along the way if you know an Xbox MVP that you think deserves the award then head down to the link below and you can go to the nomination form there and they can they can get an award maybe you know i'd love to see it and um if you guys have any questions comments or anything like that or i didn't cover something clearly or i stammered and stuttered like i often do tell me about that down in the comments section down below subscribe if you want to know uh, more about the xbox ambassadors xbox mvps xbox insiders and all the other stuff that we cover in this channel and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and turn the bell on because that alerts you. The bell. Don't forget the bell. Thanks.